Houston uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Fifty years ago, the first man set foot on the moon. It was an extraordinary moment that made us think differently every time we look up at the night sky. That's one small step for man. Now one man is on a mission. He wants to turn our eyes back to the night sky. Alan Wallace, one of the world's leading night sky photographers, is determined to capture the perfect shot of the moon in Wales. I really, 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 really want to get that shot and commemorate the moon landings. Alan wants to wake us all to the unique Welsh dark sky reserves, one of the country's greatest natural wonders. And we'll stop at nothing to achieve his goal. There's a fine line between dedication and madness. <laughs> I'm not sure which side of that line I'm on. But will a mix of moon, mountains, and Welsh weather prove an impossible combination? Oh, no! No! Oh. In his quest for the perfect moonshot. Never lose hope. It's always hope. For his final moonshot, Alan has enlisted the help of a band of volunteers. They are making their way up Picus D, one of the highest peaks in the Brecon Beacons. So I've had a bit of a crazy idea to take a shot that will celebrate the moon landings and somewhat bring the story of the moon landings onto Welsh soil. I'm really excited because I really want to get this shot, I really want to pull it off because a full moon rise is an absolutely stunning spectacle. I'm feeling quite optimistic, the weather is looking pretty damn good at the moment, so as long as it stays as it is and we get everything into place at the right time, pretty hopeful that we'll get the shot. As Alan marches his team to the top of the mountain with a strange collection of homemade props, the original meaning of the word lunatic comes to mind. A person driven crazy by the moon. There's a fine line between dedication and madness. <laughs> I'm not sure which side of that line I'm on. <laughs> Having found the perfect position, Alan and his helpers are now hurrying to assemble what turns out to be a reconstruction of the Apollo lunar module. How long we got till moonrise, Alan? <laughs> Not long enough to build the spaceship. The individual selected to pilot the landing module is Alan's friend, Sarah. Are you ready for your first moon landing? Yes, born ready. <laughs> Phase one of the mission is now complete. Ready to land on the moon. <laughs> As the light begins to fade, Alan heads back down the mountain to take up his position. There's some haze coming in, there's some cloud that's really making me nervous right now. We've got a lot of wind blow in, which is going to cause some disruption with the cameras and blow the cameras. So there's a lot that could go wrong. Alan knows the moon will rise above the ridge of the mountain at exactly 22.29. Then he will have little more than two minutes to get the shot. Yo, can you not put the thing in the wind, please? But can Sarah get into position and get ready, please? 
Right at the last minute, Alan decides he needs to change position. All right, Sarah, go. I can't believe it, man. Come on, just clear, just clear just a little bit, please. Please. <laughs> it looks like once again the shot is going to be ruined by unexpected cloud. Do I move? Come on. Have you seen how tight that gap is between the cloud and the mountains? It's just heartbreaking, man. Come on. Oh, no! No! Are you joking? Oh, oh. Cloud is getting worse. Alan has to reposition for a third time. Oh, no! No! Ah! You've got like 10 seconds until it moves out of position. If you're waiting for a little bit of cloud to clear, by the time it's cleared, the moon has moved too far. Ah! It looks like the months of planning will be wasted. Then suddenly, a gap appears in the sky. Okay, this is looking cool. Sarah, go, go, go. So cool. <laughs> Sarah's stepping up with the Apollo 11 lunar lander. She's exploring the Welsh moon. <laughs> Shot, man. <laughs> I cannot believe we actually got the shot. So, so relieved that we got that shot. It was exactly how I had it in my head, and hopefully, it inspired people to get out there and enjoy the beauty of the moon and maybe appreciate the dark skies that we have here in Wales a bit more as well. This is ground control to major tone.